you might ask, what is the atomic number on the periodic table? Where do I find the atomic number on the periodic table? So the atomic number, it's also sometimes called the proton number, that's the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. And on the periodic table, it's almost always the whole number right above the element symbol on the periodic table. And as you go across the rows here, the periods as we go across, the atomic number, that whole number, it increases by one each time we move over to another element. So the atomic number, the number of protons in the nucleus, that's the whole number above the element symbol. So I have five different element blocks from different periodic tables. Pause and figure out the atomic number and the number of protons for each one of these element blocks. For copper, the only whole number is 29 right above the element symbol. Carbon, we have the whole number of six, it's up in the left-hand corner, but it's still above the carbon. 11, 26. When we get to argon, it's a little confusing. There's a lot going on. We see that 18 is the biggest number, so that's probably going to be the atomic number. But we can look across the period here, across the row, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we know that this number 18, this whole number, that's going to be the atomic number for argon. So we're right. The atomic number for argon here is 18. So to recap, the atomic number, also called the proton number, that's the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, and it's the whole number, almost always the whole number, above the element symbol. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.